Hello everybody, my name is George Juan and I'm looking at Google Earth. This is Southern California and to help you get situated this is Hemet, San Jacinto. We can see Lake Skinner and this is Diamond Valley Lake, Lake Elsinore, 15 freeway. This is the Paris Airport, Paris Lake. This is Lake Matthews. This is a regular Google Earth view, but I have the ability to show three-dimensional representation of the different classes of airspace. For instance, when I click here, it'll show me the class Bravo airspace. And this is the airspace that surrounds the Los Angeles International Airport, LAX. Now when I click Class Charlie, I can see it's this class represented in a 3D view. We can see that Paris Airport L65 is inside Class Charlie airspace. And then lastly, uh, I have Class Delta. There's up. And there you have it. There's a 3D representation of the controlled airspace in uh, in and around the Los Angeles uh, area in Southern California. Whoa! I started this simulator and I'm going pretty fast. The first time using it. I'm um, uh, over 20,000 feet, and I'm heading towards Paris. Actually, about about 26,000 feet. And moving at 400. There's Lake Matthews right in front of me. And uh, I'm on ahead towards March. I'm outside their controlled airspace. You can see the runway at March. And uh, I'm going to enter their controlled airspace pretty soon. And uh, just about now, I'll enter the controlled airspace. And as you can see, I'm inside the Class Charlie airspace controlled uh, by March. That's Lake Paris. That's the Alessandro Island in the middle of the lake. And all of that is inside the controlled airspace. I'm sure you can tell this by looking at a chart, but the 3D representation is nice. I'm going to exit uh, the control airspace. And uh, I'm outside of it right now. But as you can see, there is there's still some control airspace over me. So I'm going to turn, try to head uh, wall right now. We have another view. This is Canyon Lake. The ocean is straight ahead. And uh, right over these mountains, to the right, uh, we will find Lake Elsinore. If I were to keep going straight ahead, uh, I'll come out right about where Dana Point or San Clemente is, I would guess. Now I'm making the turn here and uh, Lake Elsinore will will come into view. I'm pretty sure right about there it is. So that's Lake Elsinore. And what you see ahead, uh, ahead uh, it's a controlled airspace around uh, John Wayne Airport. And there's a lot of other smaller airports around there too. There's a 15 freeway right below me. And I'm trying to head back towards uh, Canyon Lake. There's Canyon Lake again. 
and now I'm going to try to follow the river back to the Paris uh, airport, L65, and I'm going to descend uh, to about 2,000 feet. That will put me at about 500 feet above ground. My goal is, um, I'm trying to fly below that controlled airspace that you see ahead of me. past the canyon lake and I'm following the river back towards uh, Paris I'm about 1900 feet that's my altitude there in front of us is the Paris airport you can see the air park landing strip and uh, beyond that you can see the Paris airport runway 33 I just passed the airport and I'm still following the river and staying below uh, March uh, control airspace. I'm trying to keep it about 2,000 feet elevation. Chuck Ross is international, it's about 1 o'clock. I'm going to turn around and head back to the airport. Mind you, this is the first time I've ever used this simulator. It's deployed some flaps for me. I don't know how to retract them. I was going pretty fast earlier and in any other plane, the flaps would have been ripped right off the wings. All right, I'm heading back towards Paris. And, uh, Again, what you see over the aircraft is a control airspace uh, from March. Oh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.